What's going on, my tap out little fan? Hey, the battery's charged. Awesome. Well, I figured I got to do some things on the black truck today. I figured that maybe you guys want to tag along. Um, girlfriend's actually doing pretty good and stuff like that with the uh, chemo and stuff. It's making her kind of messed up and stuff like that and everything. But uh, I should be in there attending to her. But uh, the black truck right now is the primary means of transportation. And uh, especially getting the grandbaby and stuff like that. And uh, she's running kind of sluggish. And I want to get the uh, I want to get the four wheel drive um, fixed for sure. So ain't nothing to get the four wheel drive done. Just gotta drill a hole bigger. I've already got the drill bits and uh, go from there. I'm gonna tell you what, guys. Things are getting serious here in the automotive parts. I uh, been trying to get that white truck back on the road, they don't know, and uh, I have a transmission and stuff. I just don't have the fluids or uh, the torque converter. And uh, my girl having uh, chemo and stuff, and less hours at work and less hours, you know, period. Uh, just didn't have the money. Well, I went out there and stuff like that, and the exhaust system was it's broken like four different spots on that truck. It's just, it needs to all be redone anyways. So I chopped the catalytic converters off of it and uh, went and turned them in and um, bought a torque converter. Now, this right here is what gets you. And this is things that, this is why I like my channel so much is because you know i know i don't got the look and stuff like that and everything and, but at least i try to teach y'all guys something so i went on uh o'reilly's was like the best place to get a torque converter because no one else had one i mean they're getting very hard to get a torque converter for a ford pickup ridiculous but uh i looked all over and advance wanted like almost 300 dollars for one um, I think AutoZone could even get one. And then I decided, you know, all these people are always saying O'Reilly's, O'Reilly's. And I didn't even really know if there was O'Reilly's in Cadillac, but I looked it up and yes, there was. So I looked up on their website that I have somewhere here. And, uh, I don't think I went too far now. Um, they had one. <laughs> one available and uh but then they had this other one hang on me guys if i can't find it soon i'll pop stop y'all and come back all right i want to probably stop y'all and come back what the hell is it i just used it like i just did this all right well anyways this door converter here was a hundred oh, here we go now look at this this one right here um, got four stars, but there's only one review, and he actually doesn't say nothing about it, about it. But this one right here is the specs and everything that I'm pretty sure I need and everything. One sixty nine ninety nine with a thirty dollar core. Well, that's what that one right there is. That is the last one. The next one they got. Two nineteen ninety nine with a hundred dollar core, and it is the exact same torque converter by the exact same company. So yeah, um, it's also made in the USA. Uh, and she's all there. So let me know in the comments because it's going to be a couple days and stuff like that. I get it. Get to it. Let me know in the comments if y'all want to see a video of me putting the transmission in that white truck. I'll film it if y'all want me to. Um, but yeah, there's thousands of videos of doing, people doing this with a lift and stuff like that. But let me know. But we got to do spark plugs, fix the four wheel drive, check the air in the tires. And there was some other shit we need to do that Ford truck too. Oh yeah, we need to check on some pulleys and stuff like that too, so. We got this and this. I gotta remember.
remember everything I need. We remember everything I need. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here she is in all her glory. Can y'all go uh, reach down in my comments and stuff and tell me the last time that I did a tune-up on this truck? Because uh, I sure as hell can't remember it. This is not uh, this is not the one that y'all are thinking about that uh, has the individual cool packs. This one here only got two cool packs, and everything is done by wire. Oh, this one's a lot easier to do the plugs in. I don't know why Ford. I have no idea why the hell Ford. Quick stop making this generation 4.6. Ooh, really? over 200,000 miles and even though this is the second engine I put in here that's about what this engine has about 200,000 miles um, I see these trucks probably about 235 somewhere around there the motor starts saying no and then I see some of them go all the way up to over 300 um, don't know if it lasted me another 30,000 miles, I'd be happy. I'm actually already happy as it sits, because I mean, she's already done more than I ever fucking, ever imagined. do the spark plugs on these it's best that you have a air hose full of air or a shop bag that you can get down in these ports and stuff and suck all the uh, dirt and stuff like that out of here I see a lot of mechanic shops especially up here they don't do that they absolutely don't do that now I got motorcraft uh, spark plugs and what's crazy is I usually get NGKs and the reason why I do is they usually, you know, cheaper than motographs. But I go in there, and this guy's telling me that NGKs now are over $10 a spark plug, and motorcraft is $6 a spark plug. So, it's kind of crazy how everything is kind of flipped. Oh, I hate going this side. But, I was always told... Do the hard side first. Make sure I don't get none of these mixed up. Don't get out of that shit. Yeah, man. Back one way the hell back there in the damn shit zone. And I know a lot of you shivy guys are going out there. Hey, you heard the egg gel and spark plugs in a 5.3? Don't tell me that those damn back spark plugs on this side are easy on that fucker, neither. Uh, oh, yeah, we're also going to take and uh, get really nasty today. And uh, we're going to pull this valve cover off. But I'm probably not going to do that on the camera because I guess don't want to be all greasy and touching the camera. But uh, I'm going to take this valve cover off and fix this enormous damn wheel leak this fucker has occurred over here on the valve cover. Oh. It's going to be a busy day.
time type of guys or y'all just uh, rip all the spark plugs off and do them uh, do it like that Make sure those fuckers snapped in, guys. <sighs> this over ain't so bad. Now, on the damn uh, uh, 99 and up, um, this side is just as much of a pain in the ass as the other side. Like I say, I don't know why Ford stopped making this type of uh, these F-150s. You know, this was two years only, this uh this body style and stuff like that, you know, and I don't know why they um, decided to quit greatness and go to bullshit. I really don't. These trucks are super easier to work on than the 99 and up. Super easier. And that's what actually ruined... I mean, I'm more positive that's what actually ruined Ford is why so many people are so scared of them is because of the 99 and newer vehicles. All of them. If they stay what they, they were fucking doing here in 97 and 98, if they stayed with this concept, they'd still be the number one auto manufacturer to this day.
playing in the day. Gustafson.
Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, ja, ja.